Welcome back to Starfield. Uh, we got Did you need something? A dialogue here. I've been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. We spoke of the difference between having a purpose and having goals. I believed myself right in the moment and What did I even say? What you <laughs> okay, were don't remember. But thinking more, perhaps I have been arrogant to assume I am right. Yeah. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary. That there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And... I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. Uh, if it got you here, then it was right. Thank you. I have always believed. No. Hoped. That is true. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... You don't have to talk about anything you don't want to. Thank you. I appreciate the reassurance. But I would like to try. Ah, oh, backstory time. promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home. Jumping from one planet to the next. Living in dangerous conditions. Often surrounded by violence. Everyone's had their share of hardships, maybe? Hmm. Eh, it's clearly taken a toll on you. It certainly influenced the way I see the universe. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. Me too. It's easier to not <laughs> become attached, especially when circumstances meant I, I might never see them again with no warning. Going it alone has always worked for me. And yet here we are. I find we work better together. Maybe you're less egregious than the other companions. I now wonder whether <laughs> it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I'm here for you if you need me. I appreciate that. Sexually. No. All right, great. Mm -hmm. We got a like. Uh, okay, other things. I went out and hit up. Um, a couple of random points of interest. One in a low-level system, one in a high-level system to test out our new guns. Now, uh, Big Bang. Fucking awesome. This this gun's great. Uh, the Assassin's Kraken, not bad. The kick is bad enough that from any substantial range, it's really hard to stay on target. Um, so... Yeah, this gun might be something we look to replace. And then I found this bad motherfucker, which has proven to be pretty good. Um, DPS 328, long range sniper weapon, good rate of fire. Damage is not the highest, but the rate of fire really makes up for that. 25% uh, increase in attack speed from rapid. Concussive can knock things down. That can be good or bad. It's fucked up a few of my snipes by knocking somebody into cover. But from, like, high ground, it, it's really good crowd control, knocking somebody down, and they, then you just murder the shit out of them while they're laying on the floor. Uh, bashing, obviously, completely worthless. But this has replaced our medtech Grendel now as our, our long-range weapon. Um, I don't think I've got anything else substantial, because we had that before. This pack has remained the one that we have. 
Uh, but if we pop over to storage, we got some alternate equipment options we've also picked up. So, um, actually, we could switch to just using the XM. I've been buying ammo for this every time, every chance I get. That could be our mid-range weapon. And we could ditch the crack. Let's give the crack in the fair swing. We'll use it for a little bit. Um, we got a, yeah, hauler. Hauler's Tracker's Alliance spacesuit, which is really high, well, really, really high mass, um, for one. For two, really high armor value. Three, uh, Chameleon and Resource Hauler both seem pretty good. However, I feel like Resource Hauler is somewhat negated by the weight of this item. Like, uh, I mean, obviously, if we're carrying 100 units of, of uh, resources, we get 25 back, and the suit is effectively weightless. It's not irrelevant. It's just less good. Uh, and I think we had this hauler's helmet from before. And, like, this has minimal mass, so this seems way better for resource farming. Uh, although, if these stack, that could be really interesting. Um, if we're ever going out on a big, like, farming journey, we could do that. Also, I believe I read online the chameleon stacks. Um, I haven't, you know, verified that in any way, but now we have the option of having a, a two-piece chameleon set here if we do want to go the full stealth route. And we can actually... Actually, I guess we had that before because maybe we had this one already. No, actually, I think this is new. I think, I think this was a new pickup, right? We didn't have this before? I think both of these chameleon suits are new. We only had the chameleon helmet. Um, so we got a lightweight... Uh, potential chameleon suit we like loadout we could use here if we go on stealth mode um, so that's pretty good what else what else what else um, that might be it I think that's it we still have stuff to sell uh, because what did you need? we picked up so what many got for me? like these mid mid rank guns um, are so valuable oh yeah she's holding like spacesuits and stuff that I need to sell um, Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have that. But yeah, th these suits are so valuable that... Uh, or weapons are so valuable that it's really hard to actually sell them all. It's like actually kind of awful. So that's been a, a recurring Activate. problem. Um, running back and forth to vendors, failing to sell everything, and ending up with even more things to sell next trip. So I believe our current mission is to head to Jemison. Um, so let's do that. Uh, we could. I'll head to Jemison. I'll try and see if the vendors are refreshed because I've already been there once. Sell all the excess crap we have, and then uh, we can go visit the Senate. Okay, I have managed to sell every single loot Captain. item I have except for Over a here. single gun. One single low weight pistol. That's where I ran out. I had to buy a bunch of extra ammo to they do said it. They'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head out there. You could have told me this My before I came here. With the UC, it's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I... am a clone. Of a man named Francois Sanon. One time fleet admiral of the UC during the colony war. Former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated. I've heard that in name before. Wasn't he executed? A title he earned. The program I was a part of, it was... The UC's attempt to create a new generation. So this is the first we've heard of cloning in in universe, one of their most as far as I'm aware. Which makes sense that they'd have the cloning tech. The UC military for generations to come. I mean, if we put our nose to the grindstone, we could probably clone some humans pretty quickly. Um, and the the gender swap thing is perfectly reasonable. Like, your 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 uh, sexual organs are determined during development right they're not like hardwired into your dna it's uh developmental 
So it's totally reasonable that you could gestate a clone and uh, through a different hormonal environment, flip it from male to female or vice versa. Um, what do we want to know? Uh, are there others of your program still out there? Other clones? I'm the last. Ah. A few of my siblings, they passed when we were young. Training accidents and the like. But most of the rest were deployed to the front lines during the colony war. And they never came back. Ah, the Clone Wars. Yes. <laughs> what the world would look like with them still in it. Okay, let's see what she has to say about the whole man thing. A non-trivial amount of gene editing. I, my and understanding is that's not really the right term for our relationship. Thanks to the amount of donor material that was required to bring me into this world. He and I are different on more than a few levels. But there's no denying the fact we're inextricably linked. So I am no biologist. I'm certainly not a geneticist. I certainly don't know for sure how a human fetus develops, right? But I think that sounds more complicated than it needs to be to explain the gender swap thing. Uh... Maybe I'm wrong. I'm that's fine if I'm wrong. I'm totally willing to be wrong. But like, the 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 combining genes from other sources makes a lot of sense for a clone anyway. So it's not. This isn't even like silly or ridiculous. Like it makes sense that you would, you know, have your base genome be from you know, whatever person you're trying to clone, and head. then patch in other genes right like if the guy you're trying to clone has any kind of genetic deformity well edit that shit out you're already mucking about in the genome do that um da, 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 da. they victus must have been an impressive commander for the uc to want to clone him he would have happily told you he was one of the great oh so he's a piece of shit i got it okay though it didn't matter the man complete I narcissist from, my father was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Freestar Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't Love to hear about this guy's work to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. So my take about the generals being executed when we were in the fucking hall of lore dump um, was like scapegoating, but she's making it sound like this guy actually was a fucking war criminal. So. How <laughs> I thought my family was messed up. Yeah, what did your father do to merit being executed? He had his men open fire on civilian ships during the Battle of Cheyenne. A battle that he ultimately ended up losing anyway. Devastating the UC fleet and bringing the colony war to an ugly end. Yeah, that doesn't look good. <laughs> but he's also the one who ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport during their outbreak. Condemning countless lives. Both sides agreed the settled systems would be better without him. The Londinian thing sounds like it kind of had to be done. Um, as far as, yeah, listen, if if military history tells you anything, um, if you're going to kill civilians, make sure you win the fucking war, right? <laughs> if you lose, uh, you're going to be vilified, <laughs> rightly so, mind you. This is a... This is not a uh, uh, endorsement of such things. This is a, a history is written by the victors thing, right? If you win the war, you can brush over all the civilians that killed to win. Um, anyway, you're not your father. If the cannon doesn't see that, it's their problem, not yours. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. Wait, did it say she liked that, or did she like that? Person comes from that oh, that must have been Andrea that liked that. Okay. And cruel. Okay. Just the way things are sometimes. Ah, oh, they're talking you know, to each other. A second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this. This is supposed to be uh, astronomer or versus game, and it's turned into a little bit of political. To, might be a good time. Philosophizing. No how long the cabinet's going to keep us waiting out here. It's low end politics. It's fine. 
Um, ba, 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 ba. I missed what she actually said there because I was talking over her. Oh, your eyes are the red. Is this a result of the cloning process? Yeah, tell us about the Martian red eyes then. That's actually a souvenir from my time on Mars. The Red Devils unit I was a part of, they were founded by recruits who'd worked some of Mars' deepest mines. Folks used to adversity. The dust at those depths, it seeps into everything. That's what I suspected they might be going with here. Where the name Red Devils came from in the first place. It became an unwritten rite of passage that anyone wanting to enlist with the Devils had to do a stint in the mine before they could join up. I feel the like... were always talked about in such revered tones during my training so as soon that as I was old wouldn't enough, happen <laughs> I signed up and the eyes were my parting gift i feel like if you had enough dust in your eyes to change the color you'd be fucking blind but i'm not an eye scientist so i don't know uh that sounds like fucking bullshit to me though that's that 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 line that that bit more than anything is really tripping my bullshit bullshit sensor um Uh, are you willing to tell me any more about your father? I mean, we never spent a lot of time together. He was too busy being fleet admiral to deal with kids. I was raised by a pair of guardians instead. Until his defeat during the colony war, though, he was known as an extremely effective commander. Savvy. Perceptive. That mind opened a lot of doors. Do we think he's still alive? And for me, too. But Vevictus, for all his ability, was heartless. Ruthless to a fault. In the end, that's what cost him his life. Okay, so we've got big military mind guy, right? He's executed for war crimes. We've now established that he has clones. Uh, so... <laughs> do we think they killed one of his clones in place of him? Do we think he's still alive and responsible for the terror more fabric? Is that the, the ultimate thing here? Here's here's my theory. All right, we're gonna we're gonna spitball. It's a game theory time. We're gonna we're gonna get to investigate the terror morphs. We'll find the source of the outbreak. It's a black UC weapons program run by Bay Victus, right? They uh they had to they couldn't have them publicly be the face of the UC war efforts anymore, right? Because of the How war crimes. The so down? they they did the execution, but secretly spirited him away. To a black program to use his amazing mind to continue to work illegally on xeno weapons and now they're either either the terror morph xeno weapons are spinning out of control or they're doing like weapon testing uh one or the other and it, it's it's they're weaponized the londinian terror morphs that's my guess specifically those ones which is why the tau seti one looks like the londinian ones genetically because that's where they're based from and probably their secret black site is on Londinian. That's my guess. That's my game theory. Okay, let's do this. Then I guess it's just Are we right? Of... The cabinet meeting is about to begin. All parties, please proceed to the cabinet chambers. Oh, Sounds like how did that happen? What the Here fuck? Go. What the fuck? Okay, well, I don't know why my mouse at the first point there looked immediately upwards, yeah, but... Oh, uh, the crashing. Uh, about the crashing. My system settings in the game reset for some reason. Um, probably when my resolution reset at some point, and I never caught that the all the settings changed, I guess. And uh, that seems to probably be the problem. So I used GeForce Experience to optimize the settings again, uh, but then tailored a few of them to my liking. And uh, the game still crashed, right? So I disabled upscaling and the game hasn't crashed since. So I think it's a common, we, we were playing with disabled upscaling at one other point and the game still crashed. So it's a combination of upscaling and one of the settings GeForce is fixing for me. Um, so the game is back to being stable, I think, or mostly stable. Uh, what I might do is tinker with some of the settings, because right now we're running a lot of stuff on low. I might push those up a, a notch, maybe. Who knows? Although I'm always more concerned about frame rate in games and responsiveness than I ever give a shit about the graphics. Um, ah, welcome. 
You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. So we might just roll with this. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Uh, Hadrian made it clear that addressing the issue required the utmost urgency. Oh, I'm sure she did. There yes, we go. Well, precisely how urgent is what I hope will determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. Uh, I think the first one, like the Terramorph Apocalypse seems a bit um, uh, a giant leap. From a gaming standpoint, that's probably the point. But from the standpoint of a single Terramorph and concerns, it seems a little bit, um, uh, what's the what's the term for it? Where you're like uh, jumping the gun, blowing something out of proportion. Uh, we're still trying to figure out what we're facing. We can't make an informed decision without data. Hmm. That is something to consider. Though we also have to take into account the nature of the data you require. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. I'm very much against While sealing no information away in a vault, by the way. Said it was anything less than a tragedy. Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, Maybe it's time to do something about it. knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack. Seems at best panic, and at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask. How many deaths the cabinet requires to act? 50? 50,000? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this Terramorph seem at all alarming to you? So yeah, I, I'm against, like, the banning of information, right? It, like... The information that goes into the production of a military weapon is impartial. That's scientific data. It can be used in this exact case to stave off or understand another related issue, right? Because something was used for evil doesn't mean the information itself was evil. And removing it, it just doesn't it doesn't make sense. It doesn't work in my opinion. If if you ban all information surrounding nuclear bombs, uh, following World War Two you'd be suppressing information that's useful to build nuclear reactors. Valuable tools. Weapon is just is just taking an, a, a natural tool and extrapolating from it to make a killing thing. You can't erase its entire existence. You can't erase knives to ban swords. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Captain? Uh, yeah, okay, hold on. It wiped out a colony that never saw it coming. That's pretty alarming. I only know what I was told. No, ma'am. It wiped out a colony that never saw it coming. That's pretty alarming. That is worth considering. This attack took place on an almost completely uninhabited world. The casualties were minimal as a result. Weapon but testing. Attack, will we be so lucky? Hmm. Yes, a fine point, Admiral. 
So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? There's a chance what happened on Tal City could happen elsewhere. We need to grant the request. Whatever risks exist, they are outweighed by this. Yeah, she agrees threat. with me. I agree. Freedom of information, goddammit. Should be granted. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Uh, I suppose that does get to the heart of the point, doesn't it? Very well. I consent. The galaxy was lucky. Oh, I was expecting time. us to to be blocked. You and I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, oh, I believe we can agree coming. to give our full backing to make the request to. <gasps> what was that? Oh yeah, no, this is the black site bullshit for sure. Incident, Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terramorphs. Oh, shit. Terramorphs. More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. Oh, no. There, there must be another explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. I did not expect a Chief attack Sarkin, here. Order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, me uh, standing on the table. Admiral Rogan, the local barracks. All right. Uh, let's get our uh, <laughs> provide support. reload on. I'll make the order myself. I'm ready. Let me add up. The Xeno squad, though, is off-world. It's going to take a while to bring them in. Well, then. We'll have to make do with the tools we've got. Cue me pulling out my gun. Can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. You fucking got it. Captain, I'm right behind you. Let's get down there. Okay, Hadrian is now following you. Uh, uh, take the net to the spaceport this way. Inaccessible. Uh, here? Here. Alright. Let's go kill some space monsters. And put this new shotgun to the test. What the fuck? We're trying to help you. Uh. Oh, she's just gonna fucking kill him. Okay. What is it? Nope. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello? Oh, there's one left? Uh, hello? Okay, uh, save. How do we melee again? Uh <laughs> What are you doing? EM fire, Captain. Okay, well that worked. <sighs> Fucking buggy ass game. God damn it. <laughs> I feel like it's because this one's still got a fucking bar. Hmm. 
Well, no, because this one's... Wait. Oh. Oh! Oh, oh, I see, I see. These ones are, are down. They're not, they're not stunned, they're, they're killed, but they can't be killed. Yeah, okay, we did it. Okay, so what the fuck is this shit here about these citizens going bananas? That's gonna be something. Oh, uh... Thank you for what you did. We didn't, we didn't want to hurt them. The way those people were acting. I've seen this before. That's concerning. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? I... I don't know. They were down at the port, and they just started... screaming. We tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but... but some of the other officers down there... An unusual amount of restriction, or, uh, restraint for, uh, for cops. <laughs> started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Terramonic projection. Some terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control. Turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're going to need to be real careful with our fire. And keep that EM weapon at the ready. Well, shit, this is putting a, a wrinkle in my thing. Are you suggesting Terramorphs can control someone's mind? I'm not suggesting. It's documented behavior. The result of the projection, though, can vary wildly. Some folks just shrug it off. Others hallucinate. And some lose control altogether. They'll lash out at anyone around them. But still, be aware while they're doing it. Those cases, you'll either need to knock them out with EM fire, or free them by killing the Terramorph. Sounds like we need to hustle. Let's do it. That's unlocked. Please, do what you can to help them. Alright, well, let's get out of here before these dipshits wake up. Um, Spaceport. My inclination is just to go run down the Terramorphs and ignore the people. Something may be nearby. God, no time to waste, Captain. Stash the EM and pull some firepower. Let's move. An evacuation order has been issued for the Spaceport District. All citizens are required to proceed to the nearest shelter. We'll keep the EM out for now. Interesting. The uh, the hallucinations are a fun little thing, huh? Uh, where next? Oh, uh, they want to talk. I'm just gonna quick save because I'm really worried about this quest Officer. breaking. Are you and this woman? Got the remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad. We're barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I, I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. But 
those things down and do it fast. We will hold them as best we can. Oh shit. Optional speak to the fire team. Uh, hello. Any more loot in here? Oops. I was stealing. <laughs> That's fine. They didn't, they didn't see. Um. <laughs> we're, we're in the middle of a crisis. Petty theft. We can't, we can't worry about that. Heard you might be looking for some backup. You say the word, we're out there. You two have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Oh my god, this guy's the worst. We'll handle this, you two stay put. Like two people? Come on now. 96 and further away. Let's try this gun out. That's not much damage. Crowd control. Keep them rolling on the ground. This works pretty good here. I think Terramorphs are sentient. Inside a structure? Oh, it's behind the crate. It in the crate? He doesn't know where we are. He's getting fucking bodied by sneak attack damage. Target down. Nice work, Captain. The rest of the city is safe. Thanks to us. You deserve whatever accolades you have coming. Is he? Inherently red, or did he get all red because of blood? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah. Pretty uh, underwhelmed by the Kraken. We'll definitely be looking to replace that with something higher tier when we get a chance. Or we just ditch it for the XM at this point. I think we'll ditch it for the XM. Before our next deployment to the field. We'll keep the Kraken on board in case we need it. What did this do? I don't see any other, like, carcasses nearby, do you? You would think for, like, this big deadly uh, attack there'd be more dead guards. But I guess we're just that good. I assume next time we come back to the spaceport it's going to be fine and none of this damage is going to be here. Hmm. 
guess they weren't kidding about you two. You had best put the right people in the right place. All of day's work, Sergeant. Like hell it is. I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. You, you'd be dead. Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the President. Let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. All right. Well, back the way we came. So... When we land here normally, we come through here, right? So is this wall like a security thing I've never noticed that can come down? I think it was breached. It must be, right? Okay, sure, dude. Also, the fire effect uh, seems really underwhelming. Are we still on hard mode? Or did that reset? No, we're still on hard. We can go to very hard. Eh, we'll leave it on hard. I think we're just a little over leveled currently is all. More than anything. Although it's hard to evaluate that because levels do somewhat scale at they least. Said you're free to come and go. That's a relief to hear. Thank you, gentlemen. Let your people all know how much we didn't get where we are by sitting on our laurels. Yes, ma'am. Our laurels, in fact, ah, became there you are. Heroes from long time ago. I believe helps we to have some things we should discuss. Looks, the ship's just being stapled to her face. It's kind of weird. Heads, the UC is going to be ready. Captain, Hadrian, it would appear that the cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. Agreed. Thank you. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, today's events have only clarified our path forward in the eyes of the Cabinet. You will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the archives. Here's my th well my next as a subsequent uh, guess. Investigation into the nature we go to the archives to get the data we'll and it's gone. It's goals. missing. We're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately to your former rank of major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Y yes Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you've both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first, we're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts yeah, of yeah, dangers yeah, the yeah, colonies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, me. They're talking about me. Oh, They're talking about me. I understand. Are facing right now. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. The cabinet wants yeah, you, yeah, Captain, yeah, to be yeah, that yeah, representative. Yeah. 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 Uh. If you're sure that's the wisest course of action. We do. In exchange. We're willing to fast track your citizenship upon collection of the data. So, will you help us? 
You can count on me, ma'am. I guess we should you. ask about what we get for being a now, citizen. We, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper Well, we know support. it's like property rights and shit, so Debbie maybe there's McIntyre a house we can buy in the Office town. of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. I I don't think I'd want to use. Oh, I should have fucking used the, the thing. God damn it. Well, anyway, um, yeah. What what is it just saying? Uh, I don't think we would want to use uh, pre-built housing. I I do want to build a, a proper base of our own at some point. Um, we could start to look at that. Actually, yeah. So, one thing I was wondering, I don't remember if I figured this out, how we can staff people at outposts. There was like a leadership skill, right? Leadership. Companions gain affinity. That's not it. Outpost management? Additional cargo links, robots, additional crew. Additional, not base. I wonder if we're currently able to assign crew, and I just don't know how. That's certainly plausible. Yeah, I definitely want this at some point. Um... So I think what I'm going to do is finish up Persuasion. Yeah, the rest of this, the other four ones here really don't interest me. So we'll finish Persuasion whenever we get that done, and then we can go into Isolation. Um, I'm kind of interested in Combat Sliding, but I, I'm not sure if it's going to be more of a gimmick than anything. Extra Oxygen. We could do more Stealth. I mean, we are using stealth a bit. Not as often as I might, but part of that is because we got the companion. Although she does have a silencer now. We could do carry capacity, but I actually don't feel that bad about our carry capacity. Especially with the drug. So I'm going to leave that be, I think. Outpost engineering. Extra ship power wouldn't be bad. Actually, extra ship power and then putting, like, another set of weapons on it or something might be good. Because, basically, I play my ship combat like a fucking turret. There's also, like, the weapon stuff. Oh, yeah, there's, like, particle beams here. Yeah, let's think about tech. So if we get all the way to the end, we get EM weapon systems, boost assault training. Do you say damage when you use boost and have a chance to get a fire knockdown? Aiming to ADS with boosting will let you hover in place. Ooh, that's pretty sick. Oh, well, hovering time slows down, the world moves slower. Oh, dude, that's actually really cool. Turrets. Yeah, I think I kind of want to push for the boost stuff, actually. More damage to robots and turrets. Don't really care. Starship design. Installation of improved? What? Oh. Experimental cutting edge. As much as I don't like ship combat, I really do like building a ship if that makes any sense whatsoever ships repair faster damage mitigation repair faster i don't really give a shit about repair shield capacity or we can do more payload top speed or do energy weapons reducing cost and targeting mode seems kind of good too 
Time to lock on is reduced. Target lock ships fire slower. Yeah, I mean, target locking to like burn down a ship seems pretty good. Eliminating a digipick to eliminate keys that aren't required to solve the puzzle doesn't seem that good. We'll never take that. What about piloting? Turn rate maneuverability, class B and class C ships. So this is the thing, I, obviously when we're in the ship builder, we could see class B, class C components. So I, I don't know what the fuck these are. That's what I don't understand. Cause we could see the stuff we can't use, but we've never seen an improved ship module unless these come up later. Um, I mean, obviously we can't get those yet. Energy weapon recharge. What about boost pack? Expend less, regenerate more quickly, double previous bonuses. This feels much better when we're taking the other boost pack stuff. Um, so I don't think I'm going to take these maybe until after we have the assault training. If we end up actually doing that, maybe I'll change my mind on that. Who fucking knows? <sighs> Do we want to push for class B? I don't know if we need to. Man, this is so hard to call. Oh, we can't even upload upgrade payloads. I might do energy weapon systems here. A little bit more damage. That just seems like a decent option. That should work with the particle beams, from what I understand. Um, so this up upgrade and this upgrade should all stack up for more damage. Unless we don't want to risk that not counting and we wait and we go for particle beams and we save energy weapons for later, maybe. So if we do that, we need one. Yeah, we only need one more point to get just straight particle beams. So maybe. Maybe this time to lock on reduced and the targeted ships fire slower. Or we save the point we do payloads. Nah, I think we'll do targeting. And then we'll do straight up weapon yes. systems damage. Sorry it took so long, but you know. A Vanguard captain. You Yes, sir. Ooh. I'll make sure they get what they require. That must make you my Vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the cabinet. Chief Yassine wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor, accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the archives. You do know what the archives are, correct? So I don't know if there's a level cap, so I wonder if we can get like everything in the in the skill tree eventually, technically. Um they're the repositories for all the band data from the colony war. Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both, and you'll have your data. I wonder if that this is a, lot easier said than done. a method of doing story gating, like... If we're going to have to do plot lines related to those factions to get the code to continue this further, like, so we can't just burn down the UC Vanguard quest right away at the beginning of the game. <laughs> I like the, the, the jokey uh, rogue answer and then the other straight rogue answer. Can we just make it up? Um... We've been playing things pretty kosher. Um, so I think we'll stick with that. You think they'd be clamoring to help after the spaceport attack? I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't 
work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Okay. Who do you want to start with? A lot of talk Ambassador in this episode. Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Well, let's do Freestar. Uh, if if this involves going to the Freestar Collective, we can then do the Samco quest, which we've been putting off for a long time. Um, so tell me about Ambassador Radcliffe of the Freestar Collective. <sighs> the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War. And her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Hmm. It sounds as though I will enjoy this. <laughs> now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code all right tell me about these other tools then certainly see good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure we just need to find the squeeze uc intelligence has a recording device planted in the ambassador's living quarters which we suspect you can use to your advantage but getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. No, Maybe we should have put that point in the cell. We believe she'll be able to help with that. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Uh, any other things I should avoid doing inside the embassy? Yes, many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong... All things that we could totally do on the street over. normally. Just We can't do it in the promises. embassy. It's all the info I need for the moment. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassine wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Okay, FC Embassy Security added. Alright, uh, tell me about Ambassador Balmore of House Faroon. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Faroon retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Sure, it can be reasoned with. House Varun are people just like us. Yes, just like us. How magnanimous of you. Of course. But there is... another wrinkle. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. Oh. <laughs> His public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. What kind of life signs did you detect in the embassy? The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. Interesting. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador uh, do we think there's gonna be like carnivorous plants or some shit what the kill wait no one has actually been inside the embassy 
The embassy is still legally House Varun's sovereign territory, so we're not technically permitted inside. We've snuck in the occasional spy, of course, but the ambassador has proven more evasive than you'd expect for a man of his age. But we're quite sure he hasn't left the city. The man stands out. What do I do if he's dead? Then you search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin, if we can ever find them. Interesting. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. I mean, we could. Sounds like we could probably make it a corpse. I'll track him down. I have no doubt. Now the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though. Finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Ah, okay. Watch Fighting the robots. Security in there. Got it. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. All right. I was going to say maybe we'll do House of Ruin first to mix things up. But since they are specifically suggesting we do Freestar, I think we'll just stick with that. I was... Hello. We'll do Freestar. <clears throat> a whole ass grilled cheese just sitting on a desk? That's not psychopath behavior at all man you gotta eat a grilled cheese when it's fresh right off the grill you can't leave that thing just sitting there you monsters where's the fucking exit <laughs> all right well i think we can uh leave this one here i guess let's get outside and make sure there's not some other like story thing that happens because uh, i want to do i do want to run to the shop we've got uh some other stuff Let's take a quick peek at that weapon, actually. EM Equinox. Literally just EM. Yeah, there's no reason to save that. We'll sell that shit. Wow. 3784. Damn. I mean, not right now, because the shops here are exhausted, but eventually. Um... Okay. Seems good. Until next time.